How to use AutoKM100 with Box 3 slash Box 2. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate destination for all things automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you're passionate about understanding the inner workings of your vehicle and keeping it in top-notch condition, you're in the right place. From in-depth reviews to step-by-step -step tutorials, we've got it all covered. So, before we dive into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's get started. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Autel KM100 with the Box 2 or Box 3 for programming Toyota 8A Blade All Keys Lost, AKL, on bench. This example uses a Toyota Corolla 2014 to 2017. Steps to use Autel KM100 with Box 2 slash Box 3. Required tools. Autel KM100. Box 2 or Box 3. IGN Fuse Wiring Harness. B Plus Fuse Wiring Harness. KSW Wire Harness, Toyota 8A AKL Cable, OBD Diagnostic Port Connector, USB Cable, Procedure 1. Preparation and Wiring Remove the IGN number 1 fuse in the fuse box in the front driver compartment. Connect the IGN fuse wiring harness. Remove the BAT number 1 fuse in the engine compartment fuse box. Connect the B plus fuse wiring harness. Remove the steering wheel cover and pull out the KSW number no. 1 ignition switch wire harness. Connect the KSW wire harness. Connect the box 2 slash box 3 into the Toyota 8A AKL cable and then to the OBD diagnostic port of the vehicle. 2. Device setup. On the Auto KM100, select IMMO dash, brand dash, region dash, blade key dash, other, and confirm vehicle information. Select Control Unit Dash, Immobilizer Dash, Immobilizer, H8A slash 8E Dash, All Keys Lost, using 8A AKL Cable. 3. Device Connection. Turn off the Bluetooth function of the KM100. Connect the VCI to the KM100 using a USB cable. Follow the operation guide and wiring diagram provided by the KM100. Press OK when the connection is done. 4. Read Vehicle Data. Insert a blade key without a chip and turn on the ignition. The KM100 will detect key information. Select a key position. Generate an emulator key until the process is completed. 5. Final steps. Turn off the ignition and remove the blade key. Remove the box 3B plus fuse, IGN fuse, and KSW wire harness from the vehicle. Restore the original vehicle circuit. Connect the KM100 to the vehicle's DLC, data link connector. Keep the antenna of the KM100 close to the ignition coil. Insert a blade key without a chip into the ignition slot and turn on the ignition. Turn off the ignition, remove the blade key, and insert the key with the chip, keeping the ignition in the off state. The key will be programmed successfully. Test the 8A chip key to ensure it works correctly. Notes. The wiring diagram may vary slightly depending on the specific vehicle model, but the KM100 will provide instructions and the correct diagram. Ensure all connections are secure and follow the prompts on the KM100 screen accurately to avoid any issues. By following these steps, you can successfully use the Autel KM100 with the Box 2 or Box 3 to program a Toyota 8A blade key when all keys are lost. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts or any questions you might have. Your support means the world to me and helps keep this channel going. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with fellow automobile enthusiasts. Together, we can make the world of car diagnostics and programming a bit easier for everyone. Until next time, take care and happy diagnosing.